Hello everyone, Jamin here from Import Data and welcome back to my channel. Soccer has been one of my favorite sports ever since I was little. Everywhere I went, I used to bring a ball with me so that I could maximize my opportunity to play soccer. Because of this natural fondness towards soccer, I also like playing FIFA which is the most famous soccer game out there. And I thought it'd be cool to analyze soccer players in FIFA using machine learning. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to use K-means clustering to group soccer players in FIFA 20 with similar skill sets. All right, so let's get started. All right, before we jump into the code, let's try to understand the clustering and how the K-means clustering algorithm works. So clustering is one of the unsupervised learning techniques, uh, PCA being another one. PCA is principal component analysis, and it is one of the dimension reduction methods. And unsupervised learning is used when you want to draw inferences using the input data without labels or responses. So we can cluster or group observations into the same group, same subgroups, so that the observation within a group are similar to each other and observations in different subgroups are different from each other. And here's an example of clustering. So if you see the scatter plot right here, you can see that this particular data is grouped into three distinct groups or subgroups. So how does k-means clustering work? First, you need to specify the number of clusters and it randomly selects the centroid. Then it iterates until the cluster assignment stops changing. So for each k cluster, it calculates the cluster mean, which is the centroid, and it proceeds through the list of observations and assign an observation to the cluster whose mean is the nearest. So the main goal is to form the clusters in such a way that the, the, the observations within the same cluster are as similar as possible. And I found an animation that explains k-means clustering. So for this particular data, there are three distinct groups. And first, it specifies the centroid. So let me go back to iteration zero. So this is a, these are the first centroids. And then it keeps calculating its mean, which is the centroid. And it does it until, until it doesn't change anymore. So you can see that it stops at iteration 14. All right, so, so how does k-means compute similarity? It uses square, Euclidean, and distance to find the centroid of the points. And let me briefly explain how that works. So let's say we have a scatter plot that looks like this. We're going to specify three clusters. And let's initialize this guy this guy and this guy as um, initial centroids. So for, in the first iteration, the clusters are going to be formed like this. This and this. And then it's going to calculate, recalculate the centroid. So for this cluster, the centroid is here. And for this cluster, the centroid is somewhere around here. I guess. And for this one, it's here, right? Then it reassigns the group or cluster. So you can see that this point right here is closer to this centroid than this centroid. So in the next iteration, the cluster is going to be formed like this. And this remains the same. And it'll recalculate its um, centroid. So for this cluster, the centroid will be somewhere around here, here, and this one remains the same. And it keeps doing this until it doesn't change anymore. And it looks like this is the stopping point for this particular scatter plot. All right. Okay, so now that we have an understanding of how k-means clustering works, let me, let's actually start coding. And like I said earlier, we're going to use FIFA 20 data set. And to download the data set, you scroll down, hit download, and you're going to want to unzip it. And go back to the Google Colab page and put it in the files. Awesome. And to copy path, you right click and hit copy path. Okay. So base, we import basic libraries and import data. Let's quickly check the head of it. Okay, so we see that there's their ID, URL, their names, age, and so on. 
and we see that there are around 18,000 players and there are 104 columns. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use numeric variables. So this is how you check the numeric variables using the dot describe function. And to get the column names, you just use dot columns. And here I'm making a new data frame. So basically I selected everything except the so FIFA ID and then I added each player's name right here. Quickly check the head again. All right. And earlier we saw that there are 18,000, around 80,000 players, which is too many. So right here, I'm only extracting the players whose overalls are above 86. And we see that there are 54 players whose overalls are above 86. And here I'm checking if there's any null values. So we see that there are some null values, right? And I'm gonna replace the null values with the mean. And check it again. So there are no, no more null values. And here I'm just selecting each player's name for it later. And I'm gonna drop the name column from the data frame. Check the head to see if it's working. And here I normalize the data. If you guys know the reason why you're supposed to rescale the data, let me know in the description box down below. And earlier I mentioned PCA is one of the unsupervised learning techniques. And here I'm gonna use it to reduce 60 columns into two for the plot. So here you specify the number of components equals to two. And next, we're going to actually perform the k-means clustering. This is misspelled. Clustering. Like we said in the beginning, we specify the number of clusters. And we're going to specify that there are five clusters. And then we fit the input data and get the cluster labels and find the centroid. And here you get the cluster values. So this is going to range from 0 to 4, as there are five clusters. And here I make a new data frame by adding players' names and their clusters. So clus this cluster right here is from this code right here. And the names is from earlier where we extracted each player's name. So now the new data frame is formed. And you can see how there are only two components rather than 60 components. And we have the cluster number and then the corresponding player's names. And here I'm going to draw the plot. And there we go. So we specify that there are five clusters, right? And if you know stalkers, you will notice that the clusters are formed based on their um, positions. So the green cluster right here are all the goalies. So Handanovic, Neuer, Navas, Yoris, De Gea, they're all goalies. And on this side right here, the red cluster, you see that there's Cristiano Ronaldo, Mbappe, uh, Lionel Messi, and Neymar, which are the strikers, attacking players. And the orange cluster right here, you see there's Heung Min Son, Marco Royce, Aubameyang, um, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Luis Suarez. So these are more of like, like winger players. And the purple group right here, there's Conte, Conte um, Jordi Alba, Tony Cruz, Pogba, and you can see that these are more of like mid midfield players. And the blue group right here are the defensive players. So Chiellini, Golden, Sergio Ramos, Laporte, they're all defensive players. 
So this is pretty cool how the groups, the clusters are formed based on their positions. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video and as always, don't forget to hit the like button if you find value in this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Bye!